Twenty-five years ago, the arrival of any white heron in the UK would have been greeted with excitement from the birdwatching community. Numbers of little egrets started to rise from about that time, and they first bred in the UK in 1995. Numbers have continued to rise, and there are now nearly 700 breeding pairs. Until relatively recently, any white heron in the UK could fairly safely be assumed to be a little egret, as their larger cousins, the great white egret, were extremely rare visitors. In the last decade or so, however, numbers of great white egret have also started to rise, and the species was first proven to breed in the UK in 2012. Here we help you to separate these two pure white, elegant herons. Little egret is by far the most common of the two species. It is a small, elegant heron, about half the size of our familiar grey heron. As well as on wetlands, little egrets can also be found along woodland streams, tiny ditches and wet, flooded fields. When hunched, stationary, at first glimpse little egrets can sometimes be mistaken for a discarded plastic bag. When their size is apparent, such as when there is a nearby grey heron to compare them with, ID shouldn't cause any problems. But little egrets can vary from seeming quite small when hunched to appearing surprisingly large and elongated when alert or flying. The best clue to ID is the dark bill and laws. The laws is the bare part of the face in front of the eye. For a very short period during courtship, the laws turn reddish, but this will still appear dark from any distance. Likewise, some young birds may have some yellow or pink on the lower bill, but again, the overall impression will be of a dark bill. Many people consider yellow feet as the key feature of little egret, but the feet are rarely visible in the grass, mud or water. The rest of the legs vary from dark green to black. With their feet hidden, little egret give a very black and white overall impression. For such an elegant appearing bird, little egret can often swap between sitting hunched and looking truly miserable to active fishing when they can appear anything but elegant as they leap around flapping their wings and generally looking uncoordinated. They can even be found energetically paddling their feet up and down in mud trying to disturb prey. In flight, which is often at low level, Little egrets can give the impression of being much bigger than they actually are. They fly with fairly determined flight, not hurried, but going somewhere. Their feet project a short way beyond the tail, and now, in good light, their yellow feet can be obvious. Numbers of records of great white egret vary each year, but they have been increasing. Numbers now are regularly in double figures. When seen well, Again, especially if grey heron or little egret are also present to give scale, the sheer size of great white egret will impress. They are basically the same size as a grey heron, but more slight and elegant, giving a longer, more lanky appearance. If seen in isolation or flight, however, we need to look at structure and jizz to help us reach a confident identification. Great white egrets have especially long and slender necks, and from any distance they have a very pronounced, kinked, often angled S-shape. When fully extended, their necks are extraordinarily long. For most of the year, with the exception of a few short weeks during the breeding season, great white egret have an obvious, fully yellow bill, completely different to little egret. This alone can be the definitive ID feature. During the breeding season, however, the bill turns black, and then the other distinctive feature is needed, the leg colour. Like little egret, great white egret has dark or black legs. But great white egret also has pale yellowish upper legs and thighs, right up to the belly feathering. Standing in deep water, the legs can almost appear all yellow. In flight, especially when familiar with little egret, great white egret has a very slow, languid flying style with deep, lazy wing beats. Both the legs and feet project well beyond the tail, and they are black with no yellow on the toes. The long, long neck is also coiled in and gives a much heavier keel at the front compared with little egret. The only other slight possibility to consider is a white or leucistic grey heron. 
In fact, these are extremely rare indeed and usually show some shadow of the normal heron markings, especially the dark shoulder patch. If a pure white grey heron is suspected, however, then structure is your best bet. Although a similar size, grey heron has a stockier body, heavier neck and above all a much heavier head and shorter, stouter bill.